Okay, let's say that you have a resort somewhere in the Caribbean, and you decide that you can increase tourism there if you lease a 767 jet to fly passengers from Miami to the resort and back. Okay, so the 767 will hold 242 passengers. So on each flight, one of the flight attendants will enter the number of passengers on the airplane. And we want to check to make sure that they enter a valid number of passengers. Okay, so we're going to have two inputs. We're going to have the flight going to the resort and the flight coming back from the resort. Okay, so I'm just going to say flight one, that'll be the first flight going down. Okay, it's going to be an integer because we will not have fractions of a person on the airplane. It's an input, and then we want to let the flight attendant know what to input. So we'll say number of passengers. I'm just going to copy and paste this, but I want to change that to flight two for the return flight. All right, now the number of passengers has to be somewhere between zero and 242. Whoops. So I'm going to say if. Flight one is less than zero. So I'll say less than zero because it could be zero. We might not have anybody on the flight. Or flight one is greater than 242. I want to put my colon there. That weight indents for me. So then I want my output to be, I will just say invalid entry. Okay, I'm going to copy that, paste it, and I'm going to change all my ones to twos. So we've got the flight two. So if I run my code, the number of passengers, 242. Yep, we were full on that flight. Zero. All right. All right, again, let's add, put 276. And 351. All right, now the problem with my output here, the invalid entry, if I just had an invalid entry for one, let's say 256 and 121, says invalid entry, I don't know which flight I've got the invalid entry for. So I'm going to come back down here and say invalid entry for flight one, and invalid entry for flight two. So now if I run this, 134 and 379, invalid entry for flight two. That's all we have to do with our inequality or yeah, our inequalities in the or statement.